In the 21st century, when you hear the word Amazon, your mind is most likely to be directed to the online multinational and not the tropical rainforest. Over this last year, the value of this platform nearly doubled when the pandemic locked us in the walls of our homes and we found ourselves relying more and more on technology. It was through such online retailers that we were able to fulfil our basic everyday needs while being safe and sound in the comfort of our homes. Founded by Jeff Bezos on July 5th, 1994 in his garage in Bellevue, Washington, what started as an online marketplace for books has now become one of the most influential and well-known names in the world of e-commerce. Amazon is one of the big five in the US information technology industry with moguls like Google, Apple, Microsoft and Facebook. Today it is the largest internet company by revenue and has had the highest brand valuation since 2020. The numerous subsidiaries of Amazon are known to have disrupted well-established industries in every walk of life through their innovative technologies and impeccable customer service. The internet-based economic enterprise and web service provider sells everything ranging from daily use items like electronics, toys, homeware, apparel, jewellery, toiletries, softwares, video games, movies, music, ebooks, etc. This multinational technology company is a one-stop shop equipped with numerous subsidiaries that cater to every person's needs. Through Amazon Music, Twitch, Audible and Amazon Prime Video, the platform allows users to distribute, download and stream music, videos and audiobooks. It also has a paid subscription service that offers same-day and two-day delivery called Amazon Prime, which crossed over 200 million subscribers in April 2021. Amazon also has a publishing arm, Amazon Publishing, a television and film studio, Amazon Studio and a cloud computing company company called Amazon Web Services. The virtual assistant developed by Amazon called Alexa is an example of AI technology at its finest. This tiny device encompasses several abilities, including voice interaction, setting alarms, creating to-do lists and music playlists, playing audiobooks, podcasts and providing real-time news. Amazon is indeed an icon to be feared and valued in all domains of modern-day technology. HQ1 Amazon's headquarters, situated in Seattle, Washington, D.C., live up to the grandeur of the company's name in today's era. The three-tower complex, which is 36 stories high, is located in the Denny Triangle neighborhood at Lenora Street and 7th Avenue. Recently, Amazon completed the construction of its $4 billion project called the Amazon Spheres, located adjoining this building. Each of these intersecting three spheres is about 85 to 90 feet tall and takes up nearly half a city block. Nicknamed by the media as Bezos Balls, has become a landmark and an attraction for tourists worldwide due to its unique futuristic construction and remarkable beauty. It's made of a concrete core with a steel frame and has three glass domes covered in patterns in the shape of a pentagon and a hexacontahedron. Out of the three, the central dome is the largest. It is four stories tall and built over 3,225 square meters. This space is reserved mainly for the Amazon employees, but an exhibit on the ground floor is open to the public, and weekly guided headquarter tours are also offered. The dorms are well equipped with meeting spaces, tables, and benches, as the primary goal of this construction was to attain more lounging and workspace for the Amazon employees. Bezos hired a full-time horticulturist who worked on growing plants specifically for the building over three years in a greenhouse in Washington to incorporate biophilic design to the spheres. The domes house over 40,000 diverse and rare plants obtained from all over the world. For this reason, the temperature has to be maintained at 22 degrees centigrade and 60% humidity during daytime. The tropical atmosphere of the domes is inspired by the Amazon rainforest itself and adds to the peaceful ambience of the place. Visitors have mentioned that it's almost as if Bezos has placed a part of the rainforest right
right in the center of the hustle and bustle of the city life. HQ2 Soon after the construction of the dorms was completed, Amazon unveiled its plan to build its new second headquarters in the year 2017. Over 200 proposals and requests from states across the US to build their latest crowning glory on their land. Initially, Bezos was leaning towards choosing New York, but due to the several riots and protests that followed, he shifted his plans to build in Arlington, Virginia. The company plans to create a public community location rather than a campus, a 100% naturally sourced renewable energy hub called Headquarters 2 or the Penn Place. The initial construction is already underway and is expected to be finished around the year 2025. In February 2021, Bezos proposed his design for the new building, which will have a helix structure and will stand nearly 350 feet tall with 2.8 million square feet of office space for Amazon employees. The design shows us a beautiful swirling inverted cone-like structure inspired by the double helix of the human DNA, featuring plenty of greenery all around the spectacular spectacular looking outdoors and walkways. Incorporating nature into his designs has always been a significant concern for Bezos as he believes that the concept of biophilia contributes to the mental and physical well-being of all his workers. The greenery will be abundant on the inside and the outside of the helix and will be tended to by a team of professional horticulturists. The helix itself will not house any officers, those will be present in more convenient conventional looking structures nearby, as the real intention of the spiral building is to provide the employees with a means to escape and connect with nature. It is supposed to serve as an outlet where workers can come to relax, socialise, mingle and meet their fellows. Not much has been revealed about the day-to-day -day offices because these will be less exciting and more mundane. The architects are working to ensure that Penn Place feels like a sleek and modern looking city block rather than the headquarters of a multinational. By rejecting corporate branding, they hope to build positive relations with the surrounding community. The outdoor areas of the campus will be open to the public and will consist of 2.5 acres of beautiful lawns and gardens, while on site there will be biking trails, bike parking and even charging ports for electric cars. But that's not all. The area will also include dog walking parks, daycare facilities, a massive space for food trucks of all kinds and an open-air 250-seat venue arrangement suitable for concerts and screening movies. There are all talks of a hiking trail being built all around the helical building and even farmers markets being made a part of the whole setup. All these aspects together are bound to make Penn Place a tourist attraction. A bonus is the fact that HQ2 will only be 15 minutes away by subway from downtown Washington. This makes the site appealing not only to potential potential visitors, but also would-be employees, as it would allow all the Amazon-affiliated workers to be physically present within the same space and make the exchange of ideas a norm. This new complex has been designed keeping in mind the well-being and betterment of our Earth. To reduce their carbon footprint, Amazon intends to run the entire complex on solar energy. The power will be transported here from a solar farm established 200 miles away in Pittsylvania, Virginia. The complex is to be constructed to include a natural ventilation system and a system to recycle rainwater. Moreover, the buildings will be LEED Platinum accredited and will utilise as much natural light as possible to reduce the need for artificial lighting. With all these intricate details and well thought out features combined, the new headquarters will definitely become a landmark that will attract tons of tourists and fans who would want to come and witness the stunning architecture with their own eyes.